Hello and welcome to the Velofi Reverie in Deshan. Um, this is kind of an interesting little house uh, if you want to pick this one up. I have decorated this one as you will see in the Dark Elf style um, and um, I found some beautiful furnishings. I love the Enderil uh, furnishings in particular so you're going to see some really interesting if you're interested in the dark and elven stuff, then you're going to be interested in well, quite a lot of the stuff that is in this house. So we come in here and we've got this lovely runner and table. And again, I love the detail on this table. I love the cross hatching design on the top of it. Uh, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, also love the flame pits as well that you get here in the middle of the house. Um, I think that's really cool. I've got my um, pot there with some stuff cooking inside it. Um, I've got a dark elven sigil over here that I put on the floor. I think you're supposed to put that on the wall, but I felt like it would look really cool if you stuck it on the floor. So yeah, that's where I put it. Um, I have done something very interesting in this house. Um, it is labelled, as you will have seen um, in the description, uh, at the aquarium, because I did turn the entire ground floor basement of this house into an aquarium, which I will show you soon. Uh, but I'm going to give you the guided tour of upstairs and outside first. So if we just run down into here, I turn this into a sort of a very sort of basic kitchen area as you can see. Could do with a few more bits and pieces putting in here, which I probably will do as time goes on. Uh, but the basic uh, structure of it is is already here. Um, so I've got a kitchen area there, and on this side I turn this into sort of like a prayer sanctuary. So we've got the altar over there. Uh, we've got some various sigils and stuff um, that you can pray to. Pray to. Um, we've got the prayer stand here and you can kneel here in prayer um, on the floor if you wanted to or meditate. Um, so yeah, basically made this into sort of a, a tranquil kind of re relaxing place uh, for you to come and do uh, any kind of meditation and prayer that you wanted to do. Um, we've got lots of votive candles and stuff on the floor um, which I really love. I love these candles. I'm a big fan of candles in real life but um, they are really pretty in the game, especially when you group them like that with a big groups of them I really like those okay if we just uh, take a run quickly upstairs uh, did this very simply up here I just basically put made two bedrooms we've got a single bedroom on this side and on the other side I made a double bedroom over on this way so again very very simple and I will probably put some more furniture in here like I'd like to put some chairs and you know maybe some more like sideboards and stuff in here at some point but at the moment, it's just sort of very basic. As we run outside, um, I'm going to show you what I've done with the outdoor space because this is one of the small, few small houses that you get that actually has an outdoor space. So it's got a couple of different areas. So I put this meditation pit here um, so you could come out here and relax and do meditation rings if you wanted to. Uh, and then down here I made this, I love those cherry blossom trees, I've said this before, it's one of my favourite trees in game, I love cherry blossom trees in real life, uh, so I'll put them anywhere I can. Uh, so I put that there, pride of place, um, and then we've got this um, prayer sigil bowl here, and yeah, another dark elf statue which I really like as well, which kind of fitted in the aesthetic of this house, and I felt like the garden needed some sort of feature in it. Uh, because it was kind of lacking beforehand, so that kind of filled that. And then I put some nice sort of planting around um, another little um, dark elf uh, meditation prayer stand here as well. Um, and then I love this fountain. I think this is dwarven, if I'm right in thinking, but I do love the look of it. And it, the dark stone and stuff kind of fitted with the aesthetic of the house. And I do love my water features. Um, so I put this uh, water feature here because um, I love the sound of running water. And because we are in Deshan, and if you just look over there in the distance, behind those trees, you can see all the giant shrooms. Um, so I did think that this area needed kind of like a shroom patch. So I've got some oversized uh, mushrooms of all different sort of descriptions and sort of made a shroom garden uh, right out here. I just, I like the aesthetic of it. I love the lighting on some of these and it looks really, really cool, uh, especially in the evening time. And it just made a difference to using you know, trees all the time. I've got my traditional sort of garden area down here, uh, but then on this side I wanted to do something a little bit different. So yeah, that's my shroom garden. So now I'm going to take you to what is really the main feature of this house, which is on the ground floor. Uh, this took me quite a long time to work out uh, because, well, <laughs> you'll kind of see when you get down here. 
So, uh, I had to do a lot of building in here to make this kind of work. Um, so, this is very open when you come down here. You have the pillars, uh, but it's a very open room. So, it doesn't look this closed in. But, of course, if I was making it into an aquarium, then it didn't make sense for it just to all be open. So, I built these low stone walls all the way around the bottom first. Um, and then I've done various tips and tricks with uh, lighting in here to make it look like it is filled with water. Uh, before I get into showing you the details that are in the aquarium, I'll just show you quickly what's behind it. Um, so over here, um, I've got some of these terrariums. I love these terrariums. I'm so glad that the devs put these in. I think they're really, really cool. And they fitted with the idea of, you know, you would come down here and you'd be able to look at all these kind of like species of flowers and plants and stuff. Um, that maybe are really, really exotic, uh, they don't see very often. Um, and you can come sit down here and sort of relax and watch the fish, I guess. So if we look over here, I've basically, I had to raise the uh, ground level up a little bit. So I put some sort of rocks and stuff down in here and then I filled it with basically things like coral. Um, there's fish in here, as you can see, my swamp jellies are just sort of chilling there in the ground, uh, in the water, sorry, not in the ground. Um, I've got my mud crab, my spatula one, he's kind of cool, so he's chilling in there as well. I've got starfish and all kinds of, uh, you know, interesting planting that I wanted to make. Uh, and then again, over here, uh, we've got more things in here. So we've got, again, um, some more, uh, my swamp jellies, some, like, mushrooms, uh, all sorts of coral and stuff that's moving around, as you can see in there. And then on this side, I've got my other mud crab. He's ch chilling in there. And again, some more uh, coral and sort of anything, all the aquatic type uh, plants and stuff that you can find, I have put in there. And again, one of my pellucid swamp jellies. I kind of love the swamp jellies. Uh, and it kind of fitted with the idea of having them in here. So yeah, I wanted to build an aquarium for a very long time. And um, it, it took a long time to kind of get to this. Uh, so I am pretty pleased, pleased with how it turned out. It looks kind of cool and it's an interesting feature of this house that you wouldn't expect unless obviously you came downstairs to look at it. So yeah, that is my Velothi Reverie. Um, I hope you enjoyed that guided tour. Um, check out some of the other houses in my um, playlist. Uh, I've got some interesting ones. I tend to theme each one of my houses. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then please go and check out the rest. Thanks for watching.